Hi everybody in my uh, TSTO Harry Potter group and YouTube channel. Okay, so here we go. And the second part of the TLSQ, Slytherin Celebration. As you and Draco try to prove Slytherin's innocence, you pursue a mystery that takes you to the furthest corners of Hogwarts Castle. Okay, let's explore this. Oh, hold on. Do do do. Haha. <laughs> Love doing that. And peeves. Okay. Enough playtime. So we are looking for the Bloody Baron. Okie doke. Here we go. I always like this place, it looks nice. Father never told me about this place. It's more impressive than I expected. The view from the astronomy tower is one of the best at Hogwarts. You can see all over the grounds, during the daytime at least. Speaking of which, are you sure your father is all right with you being out so late? What father doesn't know can't hurt him. I know the rules. If you get caught, you'll be in trouble too. Then we're in the same boat. Let's just try to be careful. My friends in Slytherin said the Bloody Baron comes up here to practice his sorrowful moans. Slytherin resourcefulness proves useful yet again. Something certainly spooked that Ravenclaw. He rushed off as soon as we got here. Most Hogwarts ghosts aren't all that frightening, but the Bloody Baron is a different story. Even if he's really covered in blood, there's no way a silly ghost will scare me. The Bloody Baron! Call me a silly ghost at your peril, whelp. You are speaking to nobility. I wasn't frightened at all, and neither was Grogu, right, Grogu? All right, we admit it. Draco and I were both frightened. No, we weren't. At least one of you has the courage to admit your fear. These many years at Hogwarts have not dulled my fearsome visage. Your reaction is fitting. Baron, you were ho we were hoping you could help us. We're investigating an incident at the dungeons. We think someone may be trying to frame Slytherin for an embarrassing mess. I will not allow accusations against Slytherin to go unanswered. But if you truly are to act on Slytherin's behalf, you must first prove your worth. Demonstrate your knowledge of House Slytherin, and I will answer your questions. Oh, Lord, another quiz. Okay. Merlin. Or a slughorn. Just trying to look for answers in here while I click. Okay. I think I got all the answers here. Trying to look and see what comes up. Almost there. And almost. Come on. And there we go. Now let's uh, see who was paying the most attention. You are the whelp. Before Professor Severus Snape took the role, who was Slytherin's head of house? Horace Slughorn. Slytherin's previous head of house was Horace Slughorn. Well said, P Professor Slughorn was a fine head of house who served many years at Hogwarts. You have proven your worth. I hereby dub thee Slytherin's hero. I knew your answer too. Baron, what do you know about the dungeon mess? Did you see it happen? I know nothing of the dungeon incident, nor do I know who is responsible. 
I've been in the tower for some time practicing baleful moans and sorrowful groans. All the better to demonstrate my eternal penance, of course. But we were told that you were in the dungeons when the incident occurred. Perhaps someone was trying to lead you astray. The tower is as far as from the dungeons as one can get. Such a cunning distraction suggests clever perceptors, and only someone equally clever will be able to outsmart them. Slytherin's hero. So that's why you tested us. You want us to prove we could find the real culprits. The Hufflepuff student lied to us. You gotta get back down to the dungeons. Let's check the potions classroom. The mess suggested a potion making accident after all. There may be something there that the real perpetrators are trying to hide. As Slytherin's hero, you must uncover the truth, Mr. Baby. Now go. Hmm. We got ourselves a real Scooby-Doo mystery here. Ruff roll. <laughs> Don't mind me. Here we go. Oh, God, not her. Well, this looks familiar. This is the same sort of mess we found in the dungeon. It must have been a potion-making accident, after all. We might have found the right this right away if we hadn't been distracted by the false bloody Baron lead. That Hufflepuff lied to us. Perhaps she was involved in making the mess in the first place. That's why she was so insistent on blaming Slytherin for it. It was pretty suspicious of her to give us a false lead the way she did. That's not everything. Look at this. These are potion ingredients, rare ones, and a stack of potion books. This must be where it started. Someone was trying to make a potion, but something went wrong. The cauldron began to bubble over, so they dragged it into the dungeon hall where it made a mess. Whatever potion they were trying to brew, it wasn't anything ordinary. Look at this book. Moste Potentia Potions? I've seen this book before. It's definitely no ordinary potions textbook. They normally keep it locked away in the restricted section. Whoever was trying to brew a potion here is behind the dungeon mess. We need to find out what sort of potion they were trying to brew and why. That won't be e easy. There are hundreds of potion recipes in these books. It could be any one of them. It would have to be a potion that was, uses the ingredients we see here. We can do this. We just need to be more resourceful. Professor Snape did say that resourcefulness is one of Slytherin's strengths. I suppose it's worth a try. Everyone in Slytherin is worried about what will happen if the blame for the dungeon mess falls on us. We'll start by identifying th these ingredients, then we'll check them against the recipes and the potion books. If we can identify the potion that was being made here, we'll be one step closer to discovering the truth. I'm having a lot of fun with this, actually. It was a nice surprise. Well, every single TLS queue or anything of interest that comes up, I will be, I will be making a video for it in my channel. So stay tuned. Just keep checking. If something comes up, I'll be right on it. There's not a lot of videos out there for Harry Potter Hogwarts mystery either, or at least not anymore. There used to be. Okay, here we go. We've identified the potion ingredients and reviewed the recipes from the potion books. Now we need to identify the potion that was being brewed here. The potion uses boom slang, skin, bicorn horn, lacewing flies, fluxweed, and knotgrass. What could it be? There's only one potion I can think of that uses those ingredients. Polyjuice potion. Let me double check the potion books for the ingredients. You're right. The recipe for polyjuice potion and Moste potential potions is the exact ingredients we found. Whoever left those ingredients behind was trying to brew polyjuice potion. I should have known. I've brewed polyjuice potion before. It was an important part of our plan to infiltrate R. Polyjuice potion allows a drinker to take on the appearance of another. There are all sorts of brilliant things someone could do with a potion like that. 
True enough, but it's difficult to prepare. The recipe says that it needs to stew for an entire month. And even then, the effects are temporary. They can last hours or minutes, depending on the skill of the potioner. You've got to, you've even got to add a piece of person being copied like a strand of hair. If, the, if their first attempt didn't work, where was trying to blue, brew polyjuice potion, might try again. They couldn't do it here. You said the potion has to stew for a month. They must have had planned to finish a potion somewhere else. It would have been a place where no one else ever goes, so they let the polyjuice potion stew in peace. There's one place in Hogwarts where that would be possible, the Artifact Room. You two had better go. I'll find Professor Snape and tell him what happened. Thanks, Imelda. Come on, Draco, let's go to the Artifact Room. Okay, we're gonna find we're gonna go see if we can find ourselves. Let's see where we are. Two out of three. They're little they're really kind of short ones. Helping Professor Snape. No, 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 no. Search the artifact. I knew I knew I was on the wrong one. Okay, here we go. Oh, Polyjuice. Barnaby? You've got to help me. Someone stole my face. I think they're behind that mess everyone's worried about. Don't believe them, Grogu. That Barnaby is a fake. They're the one behind all of this. Oh, no. Stay close to me, Draco. One of these students is a fake, and I don't know what they're capable of. You've got some nerve to try to copy me, you. No, you've got some nerve trying to copy me. Which of you is the Barnaby Lee I know? That's me, Grogu. I was searching for my potions textbook when someone stole a hair from my head and ran off. I chased them all the way here, but then they drank a potion and turned it into me. That's a lie. It was that Barnaby who stole my hair and then drank a potion and turned it into me. This is going nowhere. I gotta sort out the fake Barnaby from the real one. You're smart, Grogu. You may not be a Slytherin, but I know you've got the cunning to figure this out. Yeah, Grogu, I believe in you. Will you stop? No, you stop. Both of you stop. No one moves until I can figure out which one of you is a fake. <laughs> Reminds me of a Spider-Man episode from years ago where they're pointing at each other. It's like, you, it's you, it's you, it's you, it's you, it's you. It's too funny. Okay, almost there. There we go. The Barnaby closest to the cauldron is the fake. That's what the fake Barnaby wants you to think. You're the real fake Barnaby, not me. No, you're the real fake Barnaby. This is so confusing. You've got to choose one of us, Grogu. Which is the real Barnaby? No, I'll just choose right. The Barnaby on the right is the real one. You said things about how we met that only the real Barnaby would know. Also, you were the first one to use my name. Grogu, you recognize me. I'm so happy. No, he's fake, not me. Is that so? In that case, what's my last name? Uh, enough of this. Incarceris. Burnaby. Enjoy taking the blame, Slytherin. Uh-oh. Thanks for coming to my rescue, Grogu, but the real fake Barnaby got away. I'm just glad you're all right, Barnaby. I didn't even know you'd be here. What happened? Pretty much what we, I mean, said earlier. I was in the dungeons looking for my potions textbook. And then someone nipped the hair from the back of my head. They thought I didn't notice, but I did. I followed them all the way here, but then they drank a potion and turned into me. Draco and my must have arrived not long after. You've got to find the fake Barnaby, Grogu. Someone with my face is running around Hogwarts doing who knows what and letting me take the blame. 
They may be planning to use your likeness to confess to making the dungeon mess. That way the blame will go to Slytherin. You can't let that happen, Grogu. It's hard enough being a Slytherin, but then everybody thinks you're bad. Next, now someone's trying to frame us. I suspected that someone was trying to put the blame on Slytherin before. It seems I was right. Barnaby, find Professor Snape and tell him everything. Draco and I will go after the fake. It's time to cast a real culprit and get to the bottom of this mess. Okay. That is part two. Well. So we do have a fake one in our midst. Okay, so that's the end of part two. And part three will be coming up very shortly. Stay tuned. It'll be a three-part TLSQ Slytherin celebration. Love doing these. I love when they put them out. Okay, so that's the end of uh, this chapter here. Stay tuned for more uh, Harry Potter Hogwarts mystery content. Feel free to like the video and subscribe to my channel for more. Well, thanks so much for watching, and until next time, happy tapping because this is the way.